Okay, in this screencast we're going to have a look at how to add tables to applications on our page. So I've put a publication display on this page, but I can also add tables to wikis or blogs if I want to. So in this case I've got a publication display, and I'll just click on the Add Publication button down to the left there. I need to give it a, a heading, so I'm going to put Creating a Table as my name of my publication and then I'll scroll down a little bit to have a look at the toolbar. Now on the toolbar here there's a little button there with a small table and that's the insert or edit table button and when I click on that it brings up the table properties box. Now before I start to do this I will have made a plan of how many rows and columns I want my table to have. You can add extra columns and rows later but it's a good idea to have planned it out before we start. So I'm going to um, delete that three rows across and make that five rows across the page. Go down to the next box and instead of having two columns we'll put in three columns moving down the page and the left hand side of the box we've now got border size and we can make the border size any size we like from zero which makes an invisible border through to you probably wouldn't want it any bigger than about six so I'm going to choose um, three so that we can see what it looks like that's the outside border of the table and the alignment button under that allows us to choose whether we want our table to be justified to the left in the center of the application or on the right hand side and we'll center our table. So moving across we can choose the width of our table and the default setting is 200 pixels. Pixels is just a little dot measurement so I'm going to use that drop down list to choose percent and I'm going to change that 200 to 100 and that's telling um, Ultranet that I would like the width of my table to take up 100% of the application space. So it doesn't matter if, if people are looking at this table on a very small device like a netbook or an iPad or whether they're looking at it on a very large screen, the table will always take up the entire space, so 100% of that screen. So that's all the measurements I need to worry about on this um, top of tables property box so when I click the OK button the table will appear on my page and there we can see that's the heavy three-point border I've got my three columns here and I've got my five rows across so now my table is ready for me to put some information in what I need to do now is just save and approve and that will save my table to the page and the next time I come back to put some information in I can just edit this and add information to my table.